Hello and welcome to another StarCraft II weekly co-op mutation solo. This time, I have selected Instant Karma, which is double-edged, mutually assured destruction, and self-destruction using Stukov P3, Lord of the Horde. So, this one with Stukov is actually pretty simple. This one is on Chain of Ascension, which is a map based off the mission Rakshir from Legacy of the Void. So, Stukov, needless to say, is very good here because double edged, your units receive all the damage they deal, but they are healed over time. Stukov generates a lot of units for free from his infested colonist compound and bunkers. Even, especially so with Lord of the Horde. Mutually Assured Destruction, hybrids explode when they die. Not a big deal, because Stukov generates a million free units. And Self-Destruction, enemy units explode and deal damage to nearby player units on death. Again, Stukov has a million free units with Lord of the Horde, so no big deal. So, what am I doing here? I think I'm just saturating my mineral line and that's it in 1v1 and many co-op mi or many uh missions in single player you don't want to fully uh saturate your mineral line but here it's fine i uh, hear i hit resume playing because i kind of suck at i suck at getting the early hybrid wave i'll explain what that is here in a minute So anyway, here I'm just building an eBay for the um, for the plague munitions upgrade. I think I'm trying to get, or maybe just upgrades in general. See here, I just have this one bunker. He'll pop out a man every eight seconds. And I'm just letting I'm just letting him do his own thing. Ah. Okay, I selected Volatile Infested spawn rate. Hmm. Anyway. We are against... Ah, Fleet of the Matriarch, which is Scout Carrier. And there, as you can see, I called in the Apocalypse. The Apocalypse spawning does not... Uh, damage itself through double edge, but you can see how much damage the Apocalypse did to itself there. And what am I doing? I am... Oh yeah, I'm clearing this area because the buildings here... Buildings and units here push Janara. And the Apocalypse is now dead very quickly, thanks to double edged. Um... Oh, and I have another bunker here. <laughs> I also have this SCV standing here doing nothing. So, just have... As you can see, I just have my infested soldiers push through. My idea here is I'm gonna clear this out, or try to, and then I will use the Alexander on a hybrid wave that will spawn here. Let's see, do they have an upgrade? They do not. Ah, but I am researching the Plague Munitions here. Plague Munitions does an insane amount of damage. Prepared for launch. So anyway. Now, right here... I will point out that there is an attack wave that can spawn at the 7 minute mark. Um, for some reason, Chain of Ascension has really hard attack waves to deal with. Normally the attack wave strength in 
most missions uh, does not scale as fast as it does in Chain of Ascension. So, okay, so there are the hybrid waves spawned here. If I don't push Janara to this point on the map, the seven minute wave will spawn. And in my first attempt, I think I spawned the hybrid wave just a little bit too late and had an attack wave heading my way. So I couldn't do that. And when the hybrid wave spawns, the hybrid will automatically push Janara close to the edge of death. So the only way to solve that is to kill, kill all the hybrid in the area. Here I use the Alexander to clear out some garbage, or try to clear out some garbage. But unfortunately it's killing itself thanks to Double Edge. You can see the hybrid nemesis, or as Amon Master says, the tuna hybrid blew up, but whatever, no big deal. As you can see, the the uh, the infested marines are regenerating faster than usual, thanks to the effects of double-edged. I think my men are killing themselves through double-edged, maybe, but whatever, no big deal. It's only temporary. So here, I yeah, here I'm just using infest structure to help clear this garbage out. When an enemy structure is infested with infest structure, the target priority goes down to zero, so your units will not attack an infested structure unless you tell them to. Oh yeah, and every so often... Every so often... Every so often, attack waves will, er, um, Janara support waves will come, and, ah, here we go. Here I manually tell the Apocalypse to launch these cluster rockets at carriers. If I don't tell, if I don't tell it specifically what to attack with the cluster rockets, um, it'll just waste the cluster rockets on, on, uh, interceptors. So, yeah. And there goes the, there goes the carrier. Our are under but as you see, we still have like a million scouts to contend with. I think at this point I'm getting annoyed. You know what, hold on, I'm gonna go into the options and lower the music volume because it's really loud. So, now, one thing you should do, which I haven't done yet, is move your colonist compound and bunkers, which I have, okay, I have two under construction, up, because the men do have timed life, and they can, their time, their lifespan can expire. They, if you have everything up here, they will not make it to... Okay, here I go. Um, the bunkers can also attack, by the way, but... A lot of people don't bother with moving the bunkers to attack. Though with P3, you can't really do that, because men don't sit in bunkers with uh, Lord of the Horde. Anyway, yeah, I see here. It's okay, Stukov. Your men are all free and expendable. And, um... By and large, I make hybrid spawn by pushing Janara to a certain point on the map. As you can see here, it's right here. And we have the Slain Elemental, which... Karax kills for Solarite in the campaign, or Karax wants you to kill it. You can see we call in the Alexander. 
just to remove some crap. Steal some air units. And there goes a hybrid... The hybrid... I think it was a Dominator that was there. So yeah, as you can see, the top... My... Uh, Alexander and Apocalypse are not exactly as efficient as they normally are, thanks to Double Edge, but it it's fine. And there go the hybrid, so we can resume with pushing Janara, or go for the bonus. Generally, this is one of those maps where you really shouldn't bother going for the bonus if you have any difficulty whatsoever. But here I have no difficulty whatsoever. I can just do as I please. Now this little bastard will do... You can see he'll just encase your warriors and... It can kill your men pretty quickly. But, again, fortunately I have like a million... I just have a million men and... Bunkers generate the men for free. See each of the solarite cocoons. All of the solarite cocoons um, count as enemies that you use self destruction, or that self destruction applies to. And there goes the slain elemental. I don't remember if they even did that in the in the campaign. I don't think they did. Just this random fuckboy course, yeah. This random fuckboy corsair be like, no, I'm just gonna run into your base for no reason and harass your workers. So I just get got some marines out of the barracks just to, just to say, just to say I don't want to deal with this anymore. Eliminate them if you have the strength to spare. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what my decision was to get this upgrade when Double Edge was going to cause my top bars to kill themselves anyway. If I had to redo this, I would not have gone for these upgrades. <laughs> I think I was just less experienced with uh, dealing with this mutator. I have a much more impressive solo of this mutator. But, as you can see, I'm at 146 supply. Huh. I guess this overlay doesn't count the bunkers properly. Unless that's, uh... No, it can't be drones. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, um... Either way... Let's have my overseers for detection. Stukov does have another form of detection with, um, Swarm Queen- or Brood Queens. But I don't usually do that strat. Anyway, here's the other elemental. This one, I swear- yeah, you look at this. It just fires off the Solarite Prison bullshit, like, 7,000 times more frequently than the first one. I use Alexander to intercept this attack wave, steal all the carriers, and hope that hope that I can kill this thing, I think, is what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't, how many bunkers do I have? I think I have like 20 to 30 bunkers at this point. Oh, and eventually I got all the... Usually when I get all my weapon upgrades for infantry, I take men out of one of my refineries to move them on the field. This is just group one. Um, they're to there. They become bunker builders for the rest of the game once I get all the upgrades that I need or want. And... Yeah, as you see, I just uh, push through. I triggered the next hybrid wave, which is fine. Just move them over. 
don't have detection for this. This is one of the harder comps to to do this with because of the fact that every single interceptor or if you're playing against Zerg, every single broodling from broodlords or every single brooding broodling from broodlords or locusts from I wasn't paying attention there. Oh, maybe I was. I just didn't move out of the way in time. Anyway, every single Interceptor, Broodling, uh, Swarm Host Locust will trigger the self-destruction uh, mutator. And there, yeah, another blast of mutually assured destruction. No big deal. I still have a hundred million men behind that. I, here I move my troopers up manually because there's too many troopers behind them b uh, body blocking. Body blocking the guys in the back. <laughs> I'm like, come on. There we go. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Amon, you can't stop this. I'm at 154 out of 200 supply. With these bunkers. Oh, the free units that spawn from the bunkers and the colonist compound, they do not even count against your supply count. If you get emergency men from the marine from the barracks that those do count against your supply but they also have timed life so yeah oh and they cost 15 minerals per man they used to cost 25 but uh the prestige patch changed that and that was that was wow well, that's nearing on four years ago now And hybrid wave spawns. Arbiter's cloaking everything, but I don't even care. Do I call on the Alex? Yeah, I do. Just want to steal crap. Here I have a nice big double top bar I think I use. Do I? Yep. The Apocalypse will die instantly, but hey, whatever. I got to do a little bit of damage with it. There it goes. Where are my, uh... Okay, they're just back there. Getting shielded from the effects of MAD. Are we... What are we doing here? Oh, we're focusing down the carriers. Attack. Alright. I think at this point I just ignore the attack wave and push Janara. Well, I have so many units and bunkers all over the place that it doesn't even matter. Now here I start losing bunkers. The hive cluster is under attack. I guess it's fortunate for us that, uh, well, for me at least, that Amon doesn't upgrade beyond plus three. Otherwise, this could be a problem. It's like, 
here I think I'm just like, come on carriers, get the hell out of the way so I can win. By the way, F2, hitting F2 does not work on the free Marines. And there goes the last scout, and we've won. I just send them over here to kill stuff. <laughs> And that is it. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.